Hey collective, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? I just wanted to jump back on and um I'm yo, I'm feeling a strong fucking energy. Like I keep seeing fucking swords. I see three motherfuckers standing in front of you with swords up. I don't know if they want to fucking argue with you. I don't know if they want to challenge you. I don't know if they want to debate or discuss certain things you've been saying or try to challenge your truths and shit. So I don't know. I feel like they feel like you're not who you say you fucking are. And you might gonna have to show these motherfuckers like, uh, I got time. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I, bitch, I have time. Always. Always and forever. <laughs> ah, ah, look what I said. I got time. Okay, paid in full, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, these people really want to challenge you. It's like they want to disturb your peace. Like, yesterday, right? I went into the CVS to go get some change. And, um, a fucking Karen. Okay? And let me just say this. Big up to all the Karens whose name is actually Karen and you're not a fucking Karen. You know what I'm saying? My hat goes off to y'all. I know y'all like, mama, why you couldn't pick a different name? You understand? So for all of y'all who actually have respect, you know, for, you know, other people, I big up to y'all. But this lady, I don't know what type of time she was on, honey. But I said, that's how the fucking dutty devil work, honey. Okay? First of all, after I did that live yesterday, not the live, but the reading, I bucked my fucking toe. So I already knew what type of time the devil was on. Like, you ain't gonna upset me, bitch. You absolutely will not. I'm gonna have a beautiful fucking day, and that's what the fuck I did. Okay? So now, I'm in the CVS getting the change. And the girl is helping me. Nice little black girl. Helping me do what she gotta do. You know? Me and her talking, we talking about how the, you know, they putting a lot of the bioengineer, um, the bioengineer, most of the food in the, um, you know, in the stores them now is like containing some type of artificial, you know, whatever. This fucking lady was like, um, where do you have the <laughs> phone chargers? <laughs> Something like that, she said. So we ain't paying her ass no mind. The girl was like, um, the girl was like, ma'am, I'm helping a customer. So she, she ain't said nothing. Then she walks over now, come out of the line. Mind you, it's only me and the girl in the store. I guess there's other people in the back or whatever, but it was early morning hours. She come around now and she gonna say, um, excuse me, where do you have the chargers? She said, ma'am, I'm helping a customer. She said, I don't care, you have to get online. She said, I don't care. She said something about, I don't care about lines or I don't, something like that. I said, I know you motherfucking lying. <laughs> and I bust out laughing. And then the girl was trying to count the change for me. And this fucking lady just kept going, well, you guys charged me, overcharged me for this, and this is the wrong thing, and blah, 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 blah. And mind you, the girl steady counting the change, and we just ignoring this bitch. And I said, girl, that's how the devil work, honey. Okay? He gonna come in all shapes, forms, and sizes. You hear me? But if you let him bother you, he got you. And if you don't, please brush that shit off so now i'm like honey you have a beautiful day you stay sweet you know what i'm saying and don't let nobody upset you this bitch steady going she was like ma'am i'm helping a i heard the girl say ma'am i was helping a customer she was like i don't care anything about that and she said well you need to care because i was helping a customer and you're on camera so we can clearly see like you know she said i don't know what you're trying to get at but i will help you once i'm done with the customer man listen i said come on legend <laughs> so i don't know what is going on i don't know if it's the heat getting to these motherfuckers heads or what it is but i feel like somebody is definitely really fucking aggressive they're upset they're fucking bothered they're hot underneath the collar i don't know if they need to get off let off some steam but they see you and they feel like oh let me just fuck with this little you know this person looks like they don't have a backbone or this person and i'm telling you people be fucking with the wrong fucking thing you know what i'm seeing in that movie um pets <laughs> remember when kevin hart was the rabbit and he was the leader 
He was like, Viper, get him. No, everybody thought he was a cute little sweet little bunny. And that nigga was the ringleader. He was like, you don't ask the... He said, you don't ask the ringleader for the password. <laughs> and he was talking to the snakehead with the different... You know, I think how she was the Medusa. So, yeah. Put some respect on my name. So, I feel like people feel like they could step on you. You were small fry. Or they could get over on you. Or they're going to intimidate you. Or they're going to make you feel like, oh, la, 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 bitch. So, let's get into it and see what's going on collective because I think they got the wrong fucking one. <laughs> but I see swords. I see people attacking, attacking. I mean, they're going hard. They're going ham. They rallying up. They ending up. These niggas is not standing down. And you knocking them down left and right and they keep on coming and you just keep on handling them. And you ain't even getting tired. You ain't even breaking a sweat. You just handle these niggas they ass left and right so i hope y'all not out there fighting nobody you know what i'm saying you at peace and these motherfuckers is in their feelings i don't know what the fuck is going on but it's going on <laughs> you know yeah i guess people are starting to see the real from the fake honey all that faking it till you make it shit is out the door you're gonna have to move around baby love okay yeah so let's see. They see you living in your truth. You actually be getting downloads. You actually be, you know, whatever this may be. Your people are starting to see that crown chakra is tickling. Like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished? Oh, and another thing too. Um, some of y'all could be having like digestive issues, like stomach problems. Excuse me. A lot of there's a lot of milk and I don't really uh. I'm not sure, but I don't know if it's the milk or the honey that produce certain bacteria that like gut, good gut bacteria that you need. So you might want to drink some um, milk and honey to like try to rectify that or try to, you know. Yeah, motherfuckers is hella emotional. Hella emotional. <sighs> they see you up, up to the sky. I hear Amana, Amana. This could be Amanda, Oliver. Yeah, this could definitely be action. Um, I mean, a masculine taking action or somebody just seeing you taking initiative, honey. You want your airy shit, okay? You meditating and you moving, okay? You manifesting miracles, honey. Yeah, they just sitting there <laughs> thinking like, what the fuck is happening? Worry about yourself. Don't worry about anybody else. You need to move forward within yourself, honey. Don't worry about nobody else. This could be a whole community, honey, and they going ham. They going hard. They don't understand what you're doing. They might think you're doing some type of magic. Maybe they think you're doing some type of magic. It's like you went from 1 to 44 in a matter of a day. Depending on what this is. 1 to 8 days or, you know, I'm not sure what this is. There's a, a lot of people watching you. Thinking about you. Seeing you going. I was getting to the money. <laughs> Everybody mad. <laughs> yeah, you just wake up yawning, stretched out. Like, it's, 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 it's a natural thing. It's just... You know, people just see you happy and, and thriving and just okay. And they can't stand it. It's like, how is this person just so regular? Like, you know, it bothers them. It's like, why? Why? I don't understand. Listen, you try to figure it out. You won't hurt your head. Some of y'all could just be thinking about moving homes. There's somebody in the community that I definitely see watching you. Look at his face. I never even saw this man face right here. Look, you see him? Somebody definitely is watching you. In a cut, though, in secret. It's like I'm hearing camouflage. This could be somebody in the community. Hidden in plain sight, I'm seeing. Hidden in plain sight. And they constantly think about you. They might want to move forward towards you. This is you just taking action, honey. You could be trying to figure out what new city to move to. 
what company you want to work for. Maybe you're going to um, work in... Maybe you're a designer. You could be... Um, I hear... Um, architect you could be building a building and people maybe you won the project maybe it was like a, a what they call it a a bid and you won the bid so now motherfuckers is not happy look <laughs> they're not happy they keep asking why but they know why <laughs> why did this person get it and i didn't why are they so fucking lucky and i'm not big ass fucking babies cry me a fucking river Mm -mm. This could have been an audition and somebody, um, yeah, lost. <laughs> they didn't get the role or the part. Yeah, this could be tarot land. Somebody feeling some type of way. Somebody feeling like they got to start all over again. Up, up to the sky. Yeah, now they want to resort to fucking rituals and shit or spell work. Oh, boy. Look, I told you. <laughs> Magic. Do you believe in magic? I heard magic might be sending you dead spells. Oh, Lord. I'm trying to tell you these motherfuckers is mad. They anteing up the antics, honey. And Halloween coming too? Yeah, baby. I see pumpkins. They already started. They starting early. Remember I told you put some respect on my name. Well, that's how you telling people like, bitch, I was getting to the money. <laughs> Everybody mad like please yeah look you protected that's what i'm trying to tell you i don't know what this energy is but i see motherfuckers this could be feminines in their masculine or these could just be men or these could be men in competition fighting over you within a group dynamic that you don't even know nothing about you understand it's like all these people in the community just thinking like how am i gonna one up the next motherfucker to get to this person like, I need to be in that energy. You know? It seems like they happy wherever they are. Look. And then you could just be wondering, like, what is this energy? What's happening? Why is this? You know, like, I'm sitting here now. Like, what the fuck going on? Yeah. Motherfuckers is watching you. They hard. Hopefully, they not doing no nastiness to, you know, seeing you. But this is definitely could be, like, online. Look tarot so somebody could definitely be watching you scrying when you're doing your readings they heavily focused on you with the eyes in the community like they trying to penetrate your home maybe they trying to astro project bitch bring your fucking ass over here <laughs> and then you're gonna be really thinking twice like what the fuck i do why do that dumb stupid shit why I go over to these people house yeah why 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 i was happy before all of this shit started why why do that yeah, niggas is breaking the rules, honey. Breaking the fucking rules. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Everybody wants to be a Karen today. It's like Karen week. <laughs> and y'all just keep cleansing the energy. Yeah, y'all grateful, honey. Y'all grateful for the times. Drink you a lot of water. Maybe they dehydrated. Yeah, you setting healthy boundaries. There go that fucking sword. Maybe that's what it is. You could have just set up some boundaries some, with some people like, uh-uh. I guess they, they know your energy alone. You don't even have to really tell people. Like, people used to always tell me, like, damn, Kalina, you mad intimidating. And I'm like, how? What I do? And they were like, I don't know. You come in the fucking room and everybody look like, <gasps> like, we kind of gasp a little bit. And I'm like, why well, I'm the nicest motherfucker you'll ever meet. They were like, yeah, once we get to know you, but your fucking energy is like, it's like a motherfucker who had knee surgery. They know the rain coming. They just don't know how hard or bad. They just know it's going to rain. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, damn. Well, darn it. Look, yeah, rain. Some of y'all could have definitely been cleansing. You could have cleansed a masculine out of your energy. Or you just taking action. Or well, there's a masculine who want to come towards you. They just don't know how. Do you believe in magic? Or you just stepping in your emperor and bossing the fuck up? Let me hurry up. This thing is on 11%. I just had to come on in and tell you I feel like people want to challenge your authority. You know what I'm saying? Awakening. Yeah. You might be awakening a lot of people. Yeah. I'm hearing astro flower, lilies. Yeah, you setting people on the path. 
I guess you're making them see something in a different perspective. I'm not sure. But definitely, some people are definitely awakening. I see people getting on the path or wanting to get on the path or looking at shit like, wow, it's exciting. It's not so scary because, you know, some people hear about awakening. They're like, what the fuck is that? What is that, a demon possession or something? You're like, bitch, no. <laughs> they getting to know their ancestors more. Like I told you, Akashic readings. You could do Akashic readings. Maybe you need to get one. Maybe a masculine did one. And bitch, it opened up a whole can of worms. Something say read the um, awakening. Yeah, heightened intuition. Looking at the world in a different light. You know, being more appreciative, being more grateful and shit like that. Embolic awakening. It said the goddess stands in maiden form, shining through this very dawn. New fruits stare in her virgin womb, awaken now from winter's tomb. This magic is worked with harm to none, so mote be, dare it be done. Um, new desires are presenting themselves to you as you awaken to opportunities that were once unfamiliar to you. These beckon you now to explore as you become more in tune with the magic and mysteries of nature. As you become aware of this awakening, you will begin to notice synchronicities, such as chance meetings with like-minded people or animals that cross your path. The ancient mystics work with the cycle of nature and recognize that when we operate in this way, we receive all that we need to survive abundantly. Everything that you are feeling is entirely natural. Your wishes and desires to powerful evolve and to live as your authentic self have brought about these changes in you. Embolic opens new doorways for you and what no longer serves you will fall away naturally. This is an auspicious time for you are becoming truly alive and awakening the true witch within who now stirs from a deep slumber. Didn't I say something about white witch earlier in that other reading? <clears throat> which is foresight. Did I tell y'all what time it is? Let me tell y'all before this phone. It's 10.32 and it's um September 7th, 10.32 a.m. Did I tell y'all what time it was earlier in that first reading? Mm, I don't know. Anywho, this is a time of new growth, a good time to purify your thoughts, actions, and diet. This is a great time to see fresh ideas, become in tune with your body cycles, dream big, draw on your maiden aspect for the triple goddess, wake up. Embolic reveal. The first signs of spring are celebrated on this day of the goddess Bridget. This is the festival of heart and home and the onset of the lambing season and blue blossoming of the blackthorn. I don't know what the fuck a blackthorn is, but we're going to look that shit up later. Visits to the holy wells with gifts and offerings of milk and cloths hung on your trees mark this time of renewal. A traditional time to spring clean, observe weather, div divination, omens, and signs. And you know what's crazy? I feel like um, depending on what, part, what parts you are in, I feel like you should be going into winter, but it's still possibly nice outside or yeah, the weather might change, but it might not snow where you are this year or it might, the weather might not be as bad. Maybe it might just rain a little bit. Whereas in other parts, it might just rain or it would be hot and it's going to like switch some type of swap, you know? So this is beautiful. Didn't I say something about milk? So I think milk has some type of pro properties in it to help your digestive gut, with especially bacteria. And then we all know that um, honey is like an antibiotic. So any up. Did I tell you all the time early in that other reading this morning? I don't remember. I think I did. What time was it this morning I got on? I'm not even sure. Let's just keep moving for this thing down, honey. Honey, honey, ooh. Yeah, so why are these people coming up against the collective spirit? Yeah, because you opening people's heart. You helping people heal. You're actually making people happy. Okay, yeah. Healing from this broken heart. This is definitely a man you could have helped heal. Look, maybe some of their money is coming up. Maybe they're realizing like, 
Yeah, they're figuring out that you're hella magical. Look, you helping them create. Some of them could have been like in a stuck, decisive energy, but now they can move forward. And they realize I have to move within love, you know, whenever I'm investing in anything, especially a relationship to bring some type of balance, you know. Oh, bitch, I love it. I love it. They realizing that they could walk away and them walking away is causing a storm on other areas of their life but it's healing for them you know yeah it's healing by them closing out cer certain cycles it's healing on a, a soul level yeah healing their stability their root chakra activating something back within them and maybe there's a female female external to them that is in heavy thought. Like, what the hell going on with this person? Why is this person so happy? You know what I'm saying? Where are they getting all this abundance from? So maybe somebody's watching somebody watch you. And they're mad about this. Look, there go that man. He's still thinking, honey. Thinking about this broken heart. Maybe you're helping him heal this broken heart. Unbeknownst to you, yeah. Maybe he never knew nothing about magic. And he realizing like, oh shit, this could have been a karmic contract that they didn't even see that was karmic because they were blindfolded to the bullshit. You know? That's the truth. Maybe they realize like, me doing the right thing, listening to my intuition and me just doing the right fucking thing is going to bring me in these things or set better intentions when I go into these relationships. You understand? Whether it's platonic or not. Yeah, look. These romantic relationships, these job relationships, because it's just like a motherfucker. Um, it's just like um, like when I was at the store. I knew this bitch was trying to upset me. You understand what I'm saying? Bitch, if you think you're going to upset me, you're going to have to try again, hell. <laughs> Man, I tell you, I bust out laughing. Even the girl fucking started laughing. Like, bitch, and then that shit fueled her even more. I don't know what she thought she was going to get out of that. Like, I'm not understanding. First of all, first of fucking all, my fucking kid is right here. You understand what I'm saying? He do not like to be upset. He's very empathic. He don't even like for me to yell. So, bitch, if you think for a second you're going to upset me or him, oh, we're going to have a fucking problem. You understand what I'm saying? We're going to have, he don't like no loud noises. None. From he was a baby, he don't like loud noises. That's why I'm like, oh, hell no. When it comes to him, mm -mm. he don't like, he don't, I remember when he used to be in class and the teacher said a little boy would cry all the time and he would get so, ups, not upset, but he would, he would have to cover his ears. He doesn't like those type of things because I made sure that he was, you know what I'm saying? He was shielded from those type of things. And granted, he sees certain things like he's used to stuff now. But before, he didn't. He doesn't like that stuff. He don't like for people to argue. He don't like for people to be upset. He don't like for. He's very, very empathic. He's very sensitive. Okay, you think I was about to stand here and let you upset my baby before he go to school and have a bad day, bitch? You must not know how energy works. Yeah, this community. A lot of these community people. I'm telling you, a lot of these people in the community. You're gonna see them walking away. And it's a spirit. Spirit is doing this. A lot of people is having an awakening. If you come on my channel and get a little bit of something and you feel like you need to unsubscribe and go about your business, at least I, I did what I needed to do. Remember they said, um, I ain't even gonna go there, child. But yeah, if I can help one, that's all I need. I remember this lady told me I helped three people from killing themselves, and I'm like, oh, bitch, I don't even know who I spoke to. And I, it was my friends, regular people. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't... It was it was news to me okay and i think i told y'all this before it was news to me so i'm telling you you could be of encouragement you might not even you could just be funny and come on and be like you know it's just like kevin hart everybody see kevin hart they know once that nigga open his mouth it's over we're all gonna be on the floor you understand what i'm saying if y'all think he's funny okay it's just like martin we just know well martin different now 
I don't know if it's just because he's older and I don't know what's going on with Martin, but ever since that whole incident on LA Boulevard or wherever he was at walking butt ass naked or whatever with the gun tripping out, he ain't been the same. But we all know when we see Shanae and Jerome and them, it's, it's that type of time. We on that time. So you can't let nobody disturb you. And that's what people don't understand. They can see who is who and who is not. And I don't know if they felt like you weren't who you said you were. <laughs> I don't know, 25, 25, but God is showing and proving, honey. Okay, God is showing up and showing out. I notice whenever I put God in my title on my, on my videos, I get flagged. Mm -hmm. I told you I saw this. The girl, la, 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 la. Every time I see this, I remember that movie, Monster House, when that little girl was riding her bike. And she was like, la, 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 She was going, look. They try to confuse you on your journey, and y'all starting to look at these motherfucking sideways like, oh, hold up, bitch. <laughs> Just like that fucking lady. The, de the devil came to conquer and divide. He seen I got up that morning, and I did a bomb-ass reading. Yeah, bomb ass reading. He just wanted to upset me. You know? No, thank you. Look, yep, he wanted to cause me a storm. I told you he wanted to upset me. I w no, I'm sorry. It's not gonna work. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Okay, Archangel Gabriel is definitely in the building, Archangel Michael. Like, come on. Heavily protected, heavily divinely guided. Oh boy. Okay. You don't have to puff your chest or huff and puff and you don't have to degrade other people and you know make a whole fucking spectacle about you know others just to prove who the fuck you are. Your your volume speaks nothing like that. Yesterday I told you about this lady. Every time I go, I see her. Her and my son are her, her, her grandson and my son are like best not best friends, but you know how these kids everybody they best friend. So this could be something significant to your best friend. So every time um she see me, she be like, Hey Miss America <laughs> I'm like, Why the fuck you keep calling me that? I'm like, Do you not know my name? She said, I know your name. And I said, But why do you keep calling me Miss America? Because she said you you always stand out. She said, no matter what, you could have on full black, you always stand out. And I said, oh, shit. Okay? Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pressure bus pipes. Okay? <laughs> Pressure bus pipes. And that's all I'm going to say. You don't have to toot your horn. She was like, you be regular. Yeah. Yeah. Regular, regular, regular. I don't have to come on here with no two-inch heel and, you know what I'm saying, capri pants and a cardigan with a little blouse and some pearls and a ponytail. Bitch, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm dropping my kid off at school. Even if I was going to work, I wouldn't be doing all of that. For what? And that's the thing. People don't like that you're just regular. You you could just be yourself. You don't need all these theatrics and, and, and antics. And